Today I'm gonna talk about 5 animation tools for Max from one developer called Kinematic Lab, which is a bunch of independent scripts and plugin developers exclusive to 3ds Max users. The tools and plugins they developed have covered pretty much every aspect of 3D, including modeling, animation, rigging, retopology, to the creation of procedural effects and more. And they have been used in various industries, whether it be in-game development with studios like Ubisoft and Square Enix, or movie productions like Lucasfilm, or even advertisement. And in this video specifically, we're gonna focus on animation add-ons. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Let's begin with the Overmorpher Toolkit, starting with Overmorpher Mesh Space. From what I can see, Overmorpher Mesh Space helps a lot with character deformation by dramatically applying morph targets to an animated mesh. Unlike traditional morphs, this plugin ensures morph targets move in great synchronization with the underlying mesh's animation, which is fantastic. This eliminates the need for intricate rigging adjustments when incorporating detailed elements like clothing, props, or facial expressions. And by tracking specific points on the base mesh and mirroring their movements into corresponding morph targets, the plugin maintains precise alignment throughout the animation. We have seen actually some plugins that can do this, but this plugin with its approach kind of streamlines the character creation process, granting you as an animator the freedom to focus on artistic expression rather than technical complexities. But you may say, why is this the case? Well, with features like creating morphs from external meshes, updating and bending morphs, and adjusting morph strengths, it offers a real comprehensive toolkit for enhancing character detail and realism. To optimize performance for complex animation, the plugin also includes cache baking options. In addition to mesh space, we have Overmorpher Pose Space, and this plugin is specializing in pose based character deformation. While it is similar to the standard skin morph modifier, it offers a more reliable and predictable approach. Because skin morph relies on bone angles to interpolate between poses, this method can lead to unexpected results especially when dealing with complex bone structures and multiple degrees of freedom. On the other hand, Post Space utilizes a radial base function or an RBF system. Instead of relying on angles, it calculates distances between poses resulting in smooth and more accurate deformations. By shifting the focus from angles to distances, Post Space overcomes the inherent limitations of traditional skinning methods, providing you as an animator with greater control and precision when skinning your character. And the third tool in this toolkit is called Overmorpher Word Space, which I think offers exceptional flexibility and control over character deformation, operating independently of the character's underlying rig or animation. This approach can empower you as an animator to scope poses directly in the world space at any given frame without being restricted by the limitations of traditional rigging systems. It can be applied on top of any existing deformation, including skin modifiers, point caches, cloth simulation, and alembic caches, providing an additional layer of artistic control. And this one can be ideal for crafting cartoony effects like smear frames, squash and stretch, silhouette adjustments, and cloth corrections. And by combining word space with tools like Combine, you as an animator can seamlessly sculpt poses across multiple meshes. And this plugin offers intuitive sculpting tools, efficient keyframing, and the ability to import and export poses for better workflow. The next plugin called the Rito is a tool that simplifies the creation of the effect called the Rito effect, a term commonly used to describe adding secondary deformation to a base mesh without including additional geometry or manual setup. The plugin introduces a helper that sits on top of a deformed geometry, acting as a secondary deformation layer without causing double transformations. This is particularly useful for correcting deformations, enhancing rigs, or even creating basic rigs or re-rigging point cast animations. And the reader offers features such as helper creation, editing and detection, as well as adjusting helper positions and weights. Also, it provides options for helper display, weight gradients, and capturing or resetting helper transforms. The plugin can seamlessly integrate with the Max workflow, 
allowing you as a max user to select helpers from the modifier or send them to the stack for editing. Last but not least, we have a plugin called Custom Controller. And this one is a tool designed to enhance the rigging process in Max by providing customizable control shapes. So, by offering the ability to create, edit, and replace controller objects with custom splines, this plugin allows you as an animator to design intuitive and visually appealing rigs. And the plugin's library system allows for efficient management of custom controls and easily select, create, and modify shapes. Also, I have to mention that this plugin offers an intuitive interface featuring color customization, scaling, rotation, and replacement options, which I think gives you a lot of flexibility. In addition, the plugin's ability to maintain object transformation and create instances of controls kind of streamlines the rigging workflow to help you gain time and effort. And the interesting thing is that it comes with features like delete functions, as well as the ability to import and export control shapes, which helps a lot in the rigging process. And by replacing standard controllers with custom shapes, you as an animator can create more engaging and user-friendly rigs, especially if you are creating something for other people or if you are working as part of a team. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in these Max plugins, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.